Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk about some brand new changes coming to some of our favorite Chanel products. And I say our collectively because we're really in this together. I remember back when I was a business manager in Nashville, people would come to the counter all the time and say, what happened to XYZ lipstick? Or why'd you get rid of my favorite foundation? I need answers. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> and I always felt so helpless and so bad because there isn't a number I can call. There's no one for me to pass along your message to. And quite honestly, I feel the exact same way as you. And it's really frustrating. You hate to see the product that you love and you've been using for years change in any way, but just like in life, in cosmetics, the only constant is change and my best advice is to just be flexible, be open-minded, and just enjoy the ride. We're all in this thing together. And most of the time, when a product is changed or reformulated, it is for the good. I'm going to begin by talking about some new changes coming to the Lilift skincare line. And I do have some notes jotted down, so you'll have to bear with me. I wanna make sure to give you the most accurate information possible. So if you are an avid browser or shopper on Chanel.com, chances are you may have already seen the new the Lift packaging. The old The Lift skincare creams were all black, very chic, very sleek, and the new packaging still has a dark lid, but the base itself is more transparent. The Lift is one of the most popular skincare lines offered by Chanel because it's kind of a middle price point. It's not quite as expensive as Sublimage. It's also not as advanced, but it's going to do more for your skin than just hydrate like Hydra Beauty. So if you're looking for more than just hydration, if you're starting to get into anti-aging, the lift is going to be lifting and firming. So best suited for anybody in maybe their early 30s to get started with preventative measures. You could use it in your 40s, your 50s, and really indefinitely if you never wanted to take the jump to Sublimage because it is double the price. So the lift is a really great line of skincare. They are not simply repackaging the old formula. Instead, Chanel is using a new active ingredient. So it's truly an entirely different Lilift moisturizer. This is very exciting. I remember years ago going to training on Lilift and it was described back then as being a smart cream. It was supposed to be incredibly rich with antioxidants, help with lifting, firming, fine lines, wrinkles, and the main active ingredient is something called 3.5D which sounds very scientific, but basically they extract molecules from the morning glory plant and they manipulate them in such a way that they are 50 times more potent than the original molecule. So this is an incredibly antioxidant dense, very rich cream that would help the skin to protect itself, but also slow down damage and slow down the signs of aging. The new active ingredient is something called botanical alfalfa concentrate and this comes from organic fields and it is said to work like retinol. That is the big claim of this new active ingredient from the lift which I think is really interesting for a couple different reasons. I hear the words like retinol and I think well retinol is one of the best things that you can do for your skin. My personal dermatologist always says SPF during the daytime and retinol at night. That is what you do if you want to prevent aging. But then I also think of the first word, which is like. So this is not retinol. It is something that is like retinol or it's intended to work like a retinol. Something to keep in mind because that is a very important distinction to be made. This is still something that is sold over the counter, can be purchased by anybody. You don't need a prescription. So it's not going to work like something prescription strength. However, these are the effects that you're supposed to see. According to Chanel Research, the alfalfa concentrate is a gentle botanical ingredient to promote skin renewal and firmness by inducting keratinocyte proliferation and fibroblast renewal. <laughs> it's known for its unique remineralizing and nutritional properties. And as I mentioned, it comes from an organic farm and it's meant to be as effective as retinol. So some information there to think about. It is the same price, so it's $165 for a 1.7 ounce jar. It still comes in three textures. There's gonna be a cream fiend, which is lighter weight, a cream, which is your traditional feeling moisturizer, and then there's a cream riche, which is really thick and heavy. 
All three creams have the active ingredient. It's really just up to your personal preference. You could choose one for the day, one for the night, or you could use it just in the evening or just use one night and day. None of the moisturizers from Chanel come with an SPF, so you can really use it any time of day. There are even more changes coming to the Lilift skincare line. Currently on Chanel.com, there is a new Lilift lotion or a toner, and then they are going to be upgrading the serum. The new serum is not available on Chanel.com the last time I checked, but it is supposed to be even more effective, and it's going to have 93% naturally derived ingredients. It's supposed to be highly concentrated, highly natural. So that is something that is very exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. It has botanical alfalfa concentrate, so the same active ingredient as the creams or the moisturizers. It's also going to have black peppermint PFA complex, and this is meant to preserve the youthfulness and help prevent oxidative stress. So you're gonna see immediate results, and then the results will be cumulative as well. Something that is worth noting is there is going to be a fragrance. The new scent is going to be similar to the original floral notes of hyacinth, rose, and iris to create a refreshing fragrance that's reminiscent of springtime. It is more subtle than the previous fragrance and it blends harmoniously with the natural scent of the botanicals. So there is unfortunately still going to be a little bit of fragrance added to this. It's supposed to be lighter and as I mentioned, this is supposed to be a more natural formula, but it is still gonna have a very light scent to it. Besides upgrading the moisturizers, the serum, adding the toner, another really exciting addition to the Lilift skincare family is a Lilift hand cream. I am so excited about this. It's gonna retail for $65 for 1.7 ounces, so it's $15 more than the original hand cream, but it has that active ingredient as the moisturizer, so it's going to be anti-aging, and it's gonna help diminish dark spots on the hand. Another thing that I found really interesting, it has 90% natural ingredients. 41 ingredients total. It's meant to be comfortable, nourishing, fast absorbing, velvety soft, powdery fresh. The hands truly show your age, so anything that's gonna help with lines and dark spots on the hands I think is really incredible. So I love that Chanel went down this road. It's something that I didn't expect or ever see coming from Le Lift, but I'm excited that they are making all of these changes and upgrading the formula so that it's even more effective. The next product that's changed is the UV Essential. The update is already available on Chanel.com and slowly but surely the product is rolling out to all Chanel retailers. This is another example of new packaging and new formula. So as you can see, the bottle is now identical to Vita Lumiere Aqua, Perfection Lumiere Velvet, which we'll get to in a second, even the little LeBlanc primers. The old UV Essential came in a taller, slimmer bottle, but it was still all white, black lettering, you have to shake it every single time. I remember years ago it was available in both SPF 30 and 50 and you had a choice between which one you wanted. I believe recently it was only available in SPF 50 and the new updated version is only available in SPF 50. So it's antioxidant, anti-pollution sunscreen, it's broad spectrum so it will protect against UVA and UVB rays. And it also has some other interesting active ingredients. So it also has life plant PFA, which is the polyfractioned active. This is a plant from Madagascar and it's used to defend against stress, anti-pollution. It also contains desert yeast extract, which helps the skin's natural defense. It retails for the same price, $55 per bottle, and I think the texture is very similar to the previous version, so if you liked that one, you'll probably like this one as well. The reason I love the UV Essential so much is because this is a sunscreen that is formulated for the face, so it's not gonna feel really heavy or greasy whatsoever. It almost absorbs into the skin or creates a nice layer, a nice barrier, so it's a really good makeup primer, actually. It'll help sort of smooth the canvas before you go on with anything in top. It has a very light, very subtle fragrance to it. I mean, it really doesn't smell very much. And it kind of just goes right onto the skin. It's very thin and lightweight, which is exactly what you want for the face. So you can remember to apply all over the face, definitely down the neck, chest decollete as well. 
Last but certainly not least, and what might be the reason you clicked on this video to begin with, we have to talk about changes coming to Perfection Lumiere Velvet. This is the change that I think has sparked a lot of controversy and commotion and has a lot of people upset thinking that this is going away. I know I've had people reach out to me and say that their sales associate or they heard on the street that it was going to be discontinued. So first and foremost, I wanna say, it is not changing. The formula to Perfection Lumiere Velvet is going to remain the same. I'll say that again. The formula is not changing. So go ahead, take a deep breath, take a sigh of relief. I know it is a lot of people's go-to foundation. It's a foundation that I love. It's one of the best formulas that Chanel offers. So I would have been heartbroken had it been reformulated. But that being said, there are going to be some changes, changes to packaging, the changing of the name, and then they're adding additional colors. So this is per my, we'll call her my anonymous source on the inside of Chanel. <laughs> this is now going to be called the Ultra Latent Velvet. So they're just changing all of the foundations to be an ultra something. So there's Ultra Latent, Ultra Latent Velvet. Everything is kind of going the way of including the word ultra for whatever reason. It's the previous Perfection Lumiere Velvet, and if you've been around long enough, you know that previous to that, it was the Matte Lumiere Foundation. So, as we discussed earlier, change is inevitable. It is the Perfecting Smooth Effect Fluid Foundation Velvet Matte Finish, Sheer to Medium Coverage, 13 shades available, and it's still gonna retail for $50, and right here on this little sheet from Chanel, it says, same formula as previous. So they've added some shades because Perfection Lumiere Velvet was a foundation that was perfect for some people but didn't have a very expansive shade range. So now there's going to be B10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. They're adding 91 and 121, which thank the, the heavens, the makeup gods up above because it's about time that this particular formula was available in darker shades and then it was available in uh, beige Rose 12 and 22, they're adding Beige Rose 32 and 42. So now if you have that rosy or cool undertone and you're a little bit deeper, you'll be able to pick up a formula. So this way, more people can enjoy Perfection Lumiere Velvet, or should I say, Ultra Latin Velvet. So don't worry, it's not getting discontinued per se. They are simply changing the packaging. They're adding some additional shades in the range and it's gonna just go by a different name. I know there will be some maybe conspiracy theorists out there who say it is different, but I can, I mean, I'm not gonna speak for Chanel, obviously. I'm just passing along information. There would be really no benefit to Chanel saying, the formula is exactly the same, but then changing it behind the scenes. This is a company that is global and they are mass producing this product. So if they are going to change it, it's gonna take a very long time and it would usually be an upgrade or an added benefit to the product, in which case they would want to let people know that it was changing because they were making it better in some way. So on this internal sheet, it says it's the exact same formula, and I believe them that it will be exactly the same. And that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I answered some of your questions. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or your questions down below. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned in the video as well as everything that I used today on my face down below in the description box. I'm sure nobody is going to be hoping for a messy bun braid tutorial. <laughs> so that won't be down there. This is a crazy hairstyle, I know. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.